Hey guys, what's going on? Frank Critch here, Rebuilt Recovery. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about triggers and urges and why you need to be expecting, anticipating, and really looking forward to those triggers and those urges because those are going to be pivotal moments in your recovery, in your rebooting process. And what you do in those moments, how you handle the triggers, how you handle the urges is going to play a pivotal role in your ability to overcome your addiction to PMO and your ability to quit porn for good, reboot and rewire your brain and ultimately become the man that you were created to be. So I know, I know a lot of you are fearful of triggers. A lot of you are, are scared about if I begin this process, I'm not equipped to handle the urges. I'm not, I don't know what to do when I'm triggered and, and, and going into this process afraid of triggers. It's the wrong approach. It's the wrong way to even begin this journey because at the end of the day, guys, ultimately, they're going to come. The triggers are going to come early on in your recovery process. They're going to come later on in your recovery process. And triggers and urges are going to happen for the remainder of your life. So if you're not equipped with what to do, if you don't look at them in a positive light, guys, you're going to end up be becoming a slave to them. You're going to become fearful of them. And, and your freedom, your full reboot, your, 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 your process of overcoming this addiction for good, and living a porn-free life just won't happen if you don't understand how to use these to your advantage. If you don't understand how to take a urge, take a take a trigger, and ultimately make it work for you. So that's what we're going to get into today, guys. But before we do that, I want to let you know, guys, today's video is brought to you by Covenant Eyes. Covenant Eyes is a sponsor. We work with them. We're partnered here at Rebuilt Recovery and on our podcast. For the last few weeks, if you guys have been tuning into the podcast, you've heard me even sharing a lot about the work that we're doing over with uh, Covenant Eyes. But here on this channel, they've also partnered with us and they decided to jump in and offer a special promo code for you. So for those of you guys that out there that don't know who Covenant Eyes is, they're one of the world's leading softwares. They've been around for over 21 years helping men and women get off of porn, overcome their addiction, and ultimately create the life that they were designed to live. Now, unlike a lot of other services out there, I believe that Covenant Eyes is an incredible tool and I shot a video on how to use it as a tool in your recovery process. So it's because I've partnered with them and I'm so excited about this new form partnership, we decided to create a special promo code for you guys. So visit the link down there in the first pinned comment, it's CovenantEyes.com and use the promo code SUPERHUMAN for one month free trial. Guys, if you're in this process, if you're trying to overcome PMO, if you're trying to quit porn and get back control of your life, Using a software, using a tool just like Covenant Eyes is going to play a pivotal role. I describe them as the supplement to your recovery process. So you have a plan. You, you, you know what you're doing day in and day out. And the building the wall, putting a shield up from the outside world and, and, and really limiting yourself on what you're going to be able to see. That's where uh, software like Covenant Eyes is going to come into play, guys. So visit the link down there at CovenantEyes.com, and I'll link it in the first pinned comment below. And use code SUPERHUMAN, one word, SUPERHUMAN, for your first month absolutely free off of their incredible and amazing software, guys. But let's get back to today's video, guys. Triggers and urges. Why are they a good thing? Guys, this probably sounds a little uh, crazy when you hear me hear me say this, but, 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 but hear me out on this. So if we can understand what the rebooting and rewiring process is, is. I know a lot of people get confused and how do I explain this, what's actually happening. We need to realize that that our brain has attached certain things to, to moments in our life. So something happens outside of us. Our brain has attached a meaning to it. Okay, we get something happens inside of us. Elevated heart rate triggers to, uh, triggers to porn. Our brain has attached a meaning to that event. So we have event or trigger, brain, meaning, and then the result is what we end up doing or the result is the action that we take. So once again, triggered event, brain attaches meaning to it, leads us to outcome, leads us to action that's take place. So right now we have trigger, brain attaches meaning to that trigger, which right now the meaning from that trigger is, oh, that's the call for us, that's the trigger to go look at porn. So the action that we take is to go look at porn. Here's where you actually take control of the rebooting and rewiring process. Now it takes a little bit of, of, of proactive work because you got to understand and, and have a game plan before the trigger occurs. So this is why early on in our program, we help you guys identify your triggers. We help you understand vulnerable moments. We help you understand the times of the day where you're probably going to be more susceptible to a trigger. So you got to do the early work on for this process to work. And then you also have to have a plan of what happens when the trigger comes. So this just doesn't happen without you actually doing a little bit of work on the forefront. But if you understand your triggers, if you identify your weak points and vulnerabilities and put a plan into place, this is actually how you are in control of the rebooting process. So you can't change the trigger, okay? You cannot change the trigger. The trigger is still going to come. So that's going to trigger, okay, 
the meaning. Now, right now, your brain has attached meaning to that trigger to go look at porn. But if you've laid the groundwork, if you set the foundation early on in your recovery process of no longer when this trigger occurs, do I go look at porn, but this trigger occurs, now I need to consciously be aware of what the next step is going to be. So where it's happening unconsciously right now, trigger, brain, meaning, action happening without you even thinking about it is to go look at porn. You have to understand that you are in charge of this right here. So trigger occurs, brain is going to want to attach its old meaning, but because you've laid the groundwork, because you put the plan in place of what am I going to do in this moment, you've identified this trigger. So you hijack it right here and take control at the point of meaning. So you have to attach a different meaning to that trigger. So because you've laid the groundwork on what happens next in this moment, in this real time, by you choosing to not look at porn, by you making the active conscious decision to not go back and look at porn, you're able to attach a different meaning to what that trigger was. So trigger brain attaches new meaning because you're in control and that leads you to follow through and execute upon the plan that you set forth when you sat down and scripted out what happens the next time that I'm triggered. Okay, so you see how this is actually putting you in the driver's seat of rebooting and rewiring your brain. So I'm going to break that down one more time, guys. Okay, right now, the way that it's occurring, trigger, brain attaches meaning. Right now, default mode is meaning from triggers to go look at porn. Okay, that's where you're at right now. Where does it need to get to? Trigger, triggers the brain. You bypass, hijack the old meaning because you've laid the groundwork on what the next step needs to be so you over time begin to create begin to wire that new neural pathway to reattach that new meaning to the incident so over time it's not one time it's not two times but over the course of your reboot process maybe it's four weeks maybe it's six weeks maybe it's eight weeks maybe it's a little bit longer but over time as you begin to identify these triggers assign new meaning to them that leads you to better actions better habits Okay, better outcomes over time. That now trigger now has a new meaning from this subconscious level, from the unconscious level. So you no longer even need to think about it. And this is the process of rebooting and rewiring your brain. So over time, you don't even have to think about these things anymore. They become your new default method. And guys, there's an incredibly powerful tool that happens here. In this moment of you reassigning new meaning to the trigger, when you assign new meaning to that urge, and you act upon it, actually do what you said you're going to do. This is where you're going to begin to get new dopamine hits. You're going to begin to create new neural pathways in the positive reward center for you are becoming the man that you are designed to be, for you are, you are beginning to create the life that you want to live here uh, at this time. So that's it, guys. It's, it's, it's a really simple process when you understand it from this trigger, meaning, action uh, spectrum, but it's incredibly powerful. So guys, do not be scared of your triggers. Don't run from them. Don't hide from them. Look for them, anticipate them, expect them that they're going to come, but begin to use them in your advantage. And when you can learn to use them in your advantage, brother, this process becomes enjoyable because you realize like you're in control. You are the one that is guiding your actions. You're the one that is guiding what happens, your habits, and ultimately creating your own superhuman life. So that's it, guys. Really hope today's video spoke to you. Hope that it helped you. If it did and you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on. Like I said, guys, we've partnered with Covenant Eyes. We have an incredible offer for you guys right now. So visit the link down there. And for anybody that's looking to get an actual process, that's looking to get a proven plan to help you reboot, rewire your brain, I want to recommend you to download the seven-step guide. I'm going to link it down there below the Covenant Eyes link. Uh, but it's our free guide. It's a seven step that we take every single one of our clients uh, and students here. Over 1,100 men have gone through this program uh, in the last 12 plus months. So download the book, but begin to look at triggers. Begin to look at urges as an opportunity for you to actually reboot and rewire your brain. Frank Rich from Rebuild Recovery. See you guys on the other side.